I know Scott watches college hoops. Pavy's been watching Trey Young. Um, right DeAndre now, Aiden's the man child. Right now, who do you think currently is the best player in college basketball? DeAndre Aiden. DeAndre Aiden? DeAndre Aiden. Duke, Duke, right? He's, no, nah, he's Arizona. Arizona, that's Arizona. Yeah, Marvin Bagley. Yeah, I'm Duke. thinking Marvin Bagley. DeAndre Aiden, is, he's, he's huge. He can like, yeah. rebound. He's got a good jump shot. He's very mobile. He's very mobile. I like everything about his game, and I think you'd be – that's who I want on the Bulls. Yeah, and doesn't he supposedly want to come to the Bulls? Yeah, he's, he's like been, tweeting, he's been like shit tweeting about, the Bulls. about it, yeah. right? Yeah, he wants to be on the Bulls. And yeah, to me, a front court him and Laurie, that's like, but yeah, that's like amazing. god level. Yeah, <laughs> I he, would he, love that. Yeah, DeAndre Aiden is averaging nineteen point seven points a game, ten point eight rebounds, and one point four assists on sixty two point eight percent shooting from the field goal range, and thirty four point six percent from the field goal from he start from the three point range, and seventy three percent from the free throw line. From three, I think he's a, uh, I think he's like a cat. But just like I think a little bit more more athletic than yeah, what Cat is. Yeah, a little is. more athletic. Than Kat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah, because Cat sometimes be looking like he's sticking to the floor. Yeah, like Cat, Cat, DeAndre yeah, Aiden sick. looks like a much better. Like DeAndre Aiden looks like an athlete. Right, exactly. Cat looks Kat. awkward a lot of the times. Yeah, he does. Like it's like even like the way he runs, it's kind of like it's awkward. Wild awkward. Like DeAndre Aiden looks like a fucking athlete. Yeah. Like an athlete, and he is huge. Like he yeah, is seven he feet is tall. Huge. No, like he have you seen a picture of him? He, he is like seven seven yeah, he, oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's seven. Yeah, he's actually seven foot one with a seven foot wingspan and weighs no, two hundred fifty pounds. That dude, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he kind of looks like but, David Robinson. Yeah, he do. Like he looks like he might be had to put uh, the uh, potential to be like a David Robinson, a which guy. is the prototypical. Like if you could make a big man for this era, is that with the way you one on one pick and roll? Like, can you imagine if like that type of guy? He's 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 like how Clint Capella and like Bam on the bio and like all those guys are kind of like the prototypical what you want. He's that, but he still has the actual big man body. So he's a legitimate seven footer. Wow. So I think again, yes, he's the best player. Then I, I, I'm looking at his tape. He just pulled up for a pull up jump shot and they threw him a three. Like and he's like, yeah, yeah this dude is. And he looks like a taller version of LeBron. Yeah. And me, I really like Donitz, personally. I've been saying Luka, that all yeah. year. I, I, I still Donitz. agree with that. I, I like, love Donitz. I'm just real hesitant about nah, bro. Euro he's, players. He's like a five, Euro bro. Harden. He's like a Euro Harden. Harden's he not that. Like Harden, he's, like, he's like Ginobili on steroids. Yeah, yeah. that's a better comparison. I'm that's fine with that, though. Nah. That's, that's, that's exactly what Harden is. is. Never Left hand Harden. jump shot and all. Yeah, what? on steroids. That's the point of on steroids. That's literally what Harden is. Yeah. I mean, hey. I if like, I'm the host, I, like, I take him. If I'm, I like Donald. And you put him with Schroeder? Yeah. So you can tell Schroeder, hey, go score. We got somebody else who's going to facilitate for you. I love that. Also, I really like Trey Young. Again, I, 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 I've said it. To me, Trey Young is still a point guard. He just can also score, so why not? I like Trey Young. I don't think he's going to top three. But... So if he, tall, if think, he falls think, top five, think, supposedly he'll be the, top five, I think he I might think, go to Orlando. That's like projected I think, that I think potential top Orlando. Three is, is if he can go to Orlando I with like the young guys, Fournier. that would be crazy. With him Donich, and yeah. Donich, Aiden, and Bagley are gonna be the top three. The, uh, hopefully, yeah. That's and well, yeah, yeah, three. I agree because I think Michael Porter Michael might Porter be like four or five. Like, he might fall to six or seven. I hope. Boy, he he all them teams gonna be stupid. He go to Cleveland. Oh my God, LeBron who? LeBron who? See. I, I think like Michael Trey Porter LeBron. Back Trey LeBron and get some and get some assets. The thing, yes, but I'm not. Steve Nash played his whole career with a bad Steve back. Steve Nash ain't tall. Yeah. So back what? But he's way he's, he's super athletic injuries, though, yeah, and he's got a good jump shot. Back for tall guys. Are different yeah, things. but Bagley is. I mean, but um, Porter is also very skilled. Yeah. So I'm not the most worried. Like he's athletic, but he's also really fucking skilled. But that's why I think he's gonna drop to six or seven. But that's a fucking steal for whoever. I mean, yeah, of course it's a steal, but you still got to worry about him. I think hurt. at worst he can give you a mid-21 points a night. It's not bad. But I'm just I still think he's going to drop because it's such a loaded draft. No, I do too. I think he'll probably end up probably making there's a guy on Michigan State. I can't think of his name right uh, now. Miles Bridges? Yeah, he's killing. Yeah, Ma yeah Miles I mean, th yeah, this is a pretty loaded a pretty loaded draft class. But again, I still think if the you best. You got a seven pick. If you got top seven pick. You're not gonna be disappointed. I still think the best overall prospect is Donnie. Like the man has been playing against nah. professional players since he was 14 years yeah, old. Yeah, I'm going eight. Which is also why I like Leandro going to Lithuania, because he go, bro. He putting up like 40 in Lithuania, like You're against, 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 against kids that are his uh, and they pros and they and they still within the same age group. So instead of playing against high schoolers, and he's forced to play team basketball. Yeah. So now he's not just gonna take. Not, 50 shots to get 92 points anymore. 
Because the offensive schemes are way more complex. That man really, really scored did. 92 points in the game. Yeah. But in the, in the game in, in Lithuania, he hit five threes in a row and scored 41 points. So, like, the NBA, like, the talent pool coming is going to be crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, crazy. it's going to be crazy. And even Jello, like, it sucks that he couldn't play at UCLA because he's been doing solid in Lithuania. He's not going to make like, the league. I think but Le- at least he can be a legend in Lithuania. Like, when LeBron retire, I don't think you're going to have that star power like LeBron had. Like, LeBron's like a once-in-a-generation guy. But they, this is the best talent the NBA is. No, ever, I disagree with that. I think Lonzo Ball is that guy. He's Lonzo not, Ball has his own reality TV yeah, show. He's, he's got LeBron his own shoe. LeBron is. No, I disagree with that, bro. I disagree nah. with that. Even LeBron looking at Lonzo like yeah, you the Lonzo next guy. Not-